about to wear wigs for the, my whole life. For the rest of my life. What have I been doing? Cutting my hair. Dyeing my hair. Not liking my hair. When I could have just threw on a 39.99 wig. Anyway. Hey everyone, Kayla Bella here. I know you're probably thinking that I did something very different with my hair, but I did not. This is the lace front wig. A synthetic $39.99 lace front wig. And I'll be honest, I did this video and um, it has me reevaluating my whole life. I waited almost 27 years, 27 years to try out some of this magic. And you guys can try this magic out too. No, but in all seriousness, um, this was a very uh, fun video for me to film because I have never wore a wig in my life. I've always wanted to, always thought about it, and um, I always stopped myself. Something always stopped me like, uh, no, it's probably not worth it, but I decided to get um, a cheap wig. I did a lot of research and found one that um, was the most natural looking. And I'm in love, like I love it. So if you guys wanna see me install this wig and um, kinda laugh with me a little bit, then I encourage you to keep watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. And like I said, let me know how you feel about the wig in the comments below. Does it look bad? Does it look good? I don't know, I'm feeling myself. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I've been wanting to get a wig for a really long time because who feels like doing their hair every day? I don't feel like doing my hair every day. And every once in a while, I just want to cut it. I just want to dye it. I just want to ruin it. I just don't care because I just want a different look. Um, so I watched a whole bunch of different videos and reviews. And I really wanted an affordable wig because I'm like completely butcher this wig. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be very funny for me. Um, so I wasn't about to spend... $400 on a lace front that might look like roadkill by the end of this video. So I wanted to find a decent, synthetic, affordable lace front wig. Um, so I did a whole bunch of uh, research and the wig that I found is by Bobby Boss. And it looks like this. Sorry, my lights are a little bit bright, but it looks like this. It's the Yara um, style. And I don't know, I saw so many videos and I'm like, dang, would never know this is synthetic. So I really wanted to try that wig out and I got it on Sam's Beauty. We have, um, I'm located in Arizona and we have like a really good hair supply store right down the street from me and they have everything. And I went there to get this wig and they was like $70. Nope. Found it online. It was on Sam's Beauty for $39.99. I'll take that, almost half off the price they were trying to get me for in the store. And then I got this gel right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. This has got to be Invincible, I don't know if it'll focus. Um, invincible Styling Gel, it says Ultra Glued. And yeah, I got this because a lot of the tutorials I watch, this is what they use. Of course, they use the big tube, but again, I may not do this right, so I'm not about to spend full price for a full-size tube, so this will do. Um, and then, like I said, that was $1.99, and I got wig cap. Can y'all see this? Probably not. It's a weird color, but yeah, it's just a regular wig cap. I'm sorry, I don't know. Like, it's not gonna focus, but yeah, so I just got this wig cap right here. Um, it says ultra thin expandable, which I need because I got a big head. Um, it says keeps hair in place, easy to control the hair, one size fits all. Hopefully, because like I said, yeah. 
And also all the videos that I watched with this wig said that there's like a lot of space in it. So if you do have a larger head, like mine, it should fit you. So hopefully it does just that. But yeah, I'm just looking at my order on my iPad. So I got the lace front wig for $39.99. I got the mini size as 1.25 ounces of gel for $1.99. And then I got two um, packs of the wig caps, and in each pack there's two in there, so a total of four, and that was a dollar. So my total was forty two ninety eight, and I got, I ordered on February twenty six, and I received my order on. Sorry, I received my order on the 6th, so about 10 days. It was like, uh, it shipped from Illinois, and it was in Illinois for quite some time. Like it said that it was like, um, I don't know, being, it hadn't been approved yet or something like that. So it took some time to get out here, but 10 days, so not the longest in the world and I mean shipping was not that much money um, because like I said before it cost um, the wig itself was $40 and then I literally I didn't pay anything for shipping shipping was free it was $42.98 all together so if I don't have to pay for shipping if I didn't pay for express shipping then if it takes 10 days then it takes 10 days so uh, I didn't have a bad experience with shipping at all. So basically what I'm about to do, you guys are going to see me looking down a lot because I have a mirror right here. Um, and I'm going to kind of fast forward through a lot of these parts. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing before I do it. Um, so it's okay. Laugh at me. Laugh with me because I, I think this is going to be pretty funny. What I got to do first is... Right now I have like two um, like half twists, half braids in my hair. Um, I'm going to braid my hair a little bit smaller. I don't know, maybe six, six or four braids um, just to make sure that it's laying as flat as possible. Then I'm going to put one of these wig caps on. I'm then going to cut the lace this wig and I'll be seeing it everywhere you know you put a little concealer on the part and everything so I got some concealer concealer right here it's just um, the LA girl pro conceal and just like a little brush so I'm gonna do that um, and one of the other good reviews about this wig was also that basically you didn't have to pluck the part that much which is great because I don't know what to do with that and they said that this lace is like soft like really soft so sometimes if you pluck um, you know the parts on like really soft lace you can rip the lace and I already don't know what I'm doing so I don't want to have to rip the lace so we don't have to do any plucking which is great and then I just got a little bit of gel for the edges and we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens um, but before I do that, I will show you, um, how this wig looks out the box. So it comes packaged like this, got the lady on the front. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not because this light is so bright. Um, I never got a I never got a wig before, so I don't know what to compare this to, but it looks like it's packaged pretty nicely. My next my next wig I'll be able to compare a little bit better. So it has a net around it. Some packaging on the inside and the tag. Um, and this is a blunt bob wig. I wanted a bob because I have longer hair. So 
Um, I wanted something different and something that maybe wouldn't make me feel like I want to cut my hair every single day. So I decided to get a bob so then I can have multiple personalities when I feel like it. But uh, it feels really nice. This is what it looks like. So like when I was younger and, and college and high school and stuff, I used to always get like weaves um, sewn in and I used to always get like braids and stuff like that. I just never installed a wig or had a wig before. Um, but compared to the hair that I used to get, um, this feels really, really good. It doesn't have that waxy synthetic feeling, um, if that makes any sense. And it doesn't have, it's not overly shiny like a lot of synthetic hair can be. And the hairline does look decent and it comes with a good amount of lace, if you can see right here. Comes with a good amount of lace. Um, so yeah, it feels really good. This is what it looks like. What's gonna be my name? It's gonna be my name when I wear this. Hopefully it looks nice, I don't even know. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to braid up my hair, cut off this lace and hopefully not make a fool out of myself. So here we go. So you guys, I sped this part up because it was pretty long, um, but I know that you guys don't want to sit through 30 minutes of me doing this. So right here, you can see me taking the lace off the front of the wig. It was kind of hard. I kept cutting off hairs, but that's besides the point. Inside the wig, I'm showing you that there's three clips to secure the wig. Um, there's two in the front and one in the back. So keep that in mind as well. And I'm putting four braids in my hair. I could have probably did six, but I was feeling lazy. We know how that goes. And keep in mind that the smaller your braids are, the flatter your wig is probably going to lay. So if I would have took the time and I wasn't lazy, the wig probably would have laid a little bit flatter. But I was happy with the end result. So I might go a little smaller next time. But for now, I did four braids while I listened to Tory Lanez. And I did not care at all about my parting, um, only because I knew that I was going to put on the nude wig cap and no one was going to see the braids underneath either. So if you want to be mindful about your parting, you can, but don't judge me because as you can see, there is no type of order. Next, I'm going to lay the braids down flat by the nape of my neck and I use about four bobby pins to secure my braids. Didn't do it in any like, I don't know, I didn't have any kind of method. I just wanted it to be as flat as it can. And then I added the nude wig cap and the gel on my edges. Look, I don't even know. I've, I've seen videos. This is what it looked like they did. I could be doing it completely wrong. Please forgive me. But. So I'm putting the wig on now and trying to adjust the part to make it look as centered as possible. And then I'm going to add the LA Girl Concealer to the part. Looked pretty good to me, but what do I know? <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go get clips so that I can clip my hair back and I can cut some of the edges. So I just took some hair scissors. I separated some hairs and I cut them to try to mimic what my edges would look like if I laid them down. And I used my Eco Styler gel, um, the one with olive oil, and just a little um, brush that I got from the beauty supply store. Tried to make it look natural, but yeah, I did my best. <laughs> it guys how does it look let me focus this it has a really nice cut I really like the cut I feel like it 
Um, I feel like it could fit a lot of people's face. And it doesn't shed. There's not a lot of shedding. Um, it shed like a little bit when I first took it out the box, but in like literally like three or four strands. But there's no shedding now. And yeah, I mean, I think that I could probably get my flat iron and um, make it lay like even flatter. But it lays pretty flat like on the head and um, I think that it's cute. I think that you could wear this with, um, I don't know, baseball cap, a scarf, um, whatever, you know what I mean? I definitely think that wigs are, like I said, a little bit more work than I thought they would be. Um, but still, like, I think this is a good way to switch up your style, switch up your hair, um, without actually having to cut it, um, which is really nice. Clearly, the um, probably the smaller you do your braids, the more your your wig will lay flat. Um, so next time I probably would do my braids like a little bit smaller, but it's not like it's bad. Like it's not, I don't, it doesn't feel like it's sitting on my head. It feels like secure like if I move around, but like I said, I'm not about to whip my head like back and forth and side to side in the club and do the new freezer challenge. I don't know, it's just I'm not trying to embarrass myself. Um, yeah. It's cute. I like it. Um, but yeah, so $40. If you want to switch up your life, you know, give yourself something new without your boyfriend breaking up with you, your mom yelling at you, your friends being upset. Hey, there's alternatives out here. You could get a wig. So, I would encourage everybody, like I said, Sam's Beauty was a really good website. They had a lot of different things up there. They had everything for this tutorial, and it only cost me $42.98, and I don't think I was gonna find that. Well, you could probably find different places. Scratch that. It only cost me $42.98, so I think that's a really great deal, um, especially because I'll probably get a decent amount of wear out this wig, and um, I didn't have to break the bank. And if I do ruin it after a couple of times, or maybe I did something wrong, I don't know. If I cut the lace too high, whatever, at least I know that I only spent $40, so I think that that's a plus. Um, so yeah, check them out. Like I said, this is called the Yara wig, and they probably have it at a lot of beauty supply stores too. Um, I got this in a color two, I want to say. Hold up. Where? Oh, here it is. I got mine in a color two, um, but they had really nice colors out there. Like they had like a a turquoise color, a navy color, lavender, and I want to try, um, I want to try different colors, but for the sake of this tutorial, I didn't want to look extra stupid. So I just got a two, color two. So for reference, but they did have like one, one B, four, they had almost everything, but a lot of the reviews that I saw, a lot of people said that they didn't have, um, like they were always, out of stock of the natural colors. So a lot of people end up getting, like I don't know if you guys can see her picture up here. Um, a lot of people end up getting like this color or another different color, um, but I think that they look really nice. I don't know, they had like a cobalt blue one. Just cute, just cute. So I'm feeling myself right now. I don't know, tell me how you guys think. Tell me how you guys think I look. Tell me how you guys think I did for my um, first first wig tutorial tell me do you guys want me to do more wig tutorials because I will um, but yeah I really enjoyed it and make sure that you guys comment like and subscribe down below and thank you so much bye